Hello, my name's Miss Amanda and welcome to the Cooking and Baking course, Delicious Desserts. So let's get started with Rice Krispie Treats. To make the Rice Krispie Treats, we will need the following kitchen tools. First, we need a pot. We also need a wooden spoon. We also need measuring cups in order to measure our cereal. We need a silicone scraper. We also need a nine by nine or eight by eight baking dish. So basically a square baking dish of some sort uh, there. And also a large bowl. Okay, this will hold our Rice Krispies after we measure them. So once you've gathered the right tools, we will also need a few ingredients. First, we will need three tablespoons of butter. So I'm using a stick of butter, so I'm going to cut off three tablespoons. And I'm just going to place this butter into my cooking pot. Now I'm gonna place the three tablespoons of butter into my large pot. Now I'm not turning my heat on yet. Not yet, I'm still measuring out my ingredients. But there's my butter ready to go. Now, after you have your butter in your pot, you wanna make sure that you have 10 ounces of marshmallows. Now, I'm not putting this in the pot. This does not go in the pot yet. I just wanna make sure you have it. And it is best to use an unopened, fresh package of marshmallows. It, it yields the best uh, results in terms of the Rice Krispie Treats. So we have our butter in the pot, we have our, our uh, marshmallows to the side, and finally we need to measure five cups of Rice Krispies. Now I'm going to put these Rice Krispies into my mixing bowl. So I wanna measure with my measuring cup, right? I'm gonna measure uh, five cups of Rice Krispies. So, we have one cup, then two cups, three cups, four cups, and finally five cups. So I'll give you a moment to measure those five cups into the mixing bowl. Now we're gonna put this to the side, we don't need it just yet, but we wanna have it measured and ready to go. So five cups of Rice Krispies. Next, we wanna make sure we have some cooking spray. And we will first spray our pan with the cooking spray. So this baking dish, just give it a light coat, all sides. And again, put it to the side and we'll use that in just a moment. I also want to spray my spatula. This makes it just a little easier to press that, the Rice Krispie Treats down in just a few moments. So spray your spatula and your baking dish with the cooking spray. Next, I want to melt my butter over low heat. Now, one of the things to remember with this particular recipe, it is best to cook this slow. So I want to melt my butter and then in a moment, I'll add the marshmallows, but I wanna do this slowly. So I want this butter, I want this butter to melt, but melt slowly. So make sure your temperature on your stove is set to low. So, waiting on the butter to melt. And I'm using my wooden, wooden spoon. That wooden spoon will become handy in just a moment. You'll see why the wooden works just a little bit better than the plastic spoons for this recipe. So I'm letting that melt slowly. And still melting slowly. This is one of my uh, oldest son's favorite recipes. He loves Rice Krispie Treats. And there's quite a few different designs that you can make with these uh, Rice Krispie Treats too. And I'll show you some of those uh, a little later as well. So, 
still melting slowly, which is what you want to see again um, for this particular recipe, especially once you add the marshmallows, you want that to melt slowly. Okay. And I'm just cutting it up a little, doesn't really make a difference there, but melting the butter in the pot. I'm just stirring it every little bit. And it's melting. And once it's good and melted, you can add in your marshmallows. So and it's, mine's melted quite a bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my marshmallows. So, again, it's, it's melted. And I, I want it to slowly melt the marshmallows. There. And at this point, I wanna, I wanna stir with my wooden spoon quite often, so you'll see me stirring it. And what I want to see now is I want to see these marshmallows slowly melting. And once it's melted and smooth, uh, then I want to remove it from the heat. So once it's melted, you'll remove it from the heat. But mine, of course, they're not quite melting yet. It takes a little while. So once you've added the marshmallows, you will wait for those to slowly melt. Stirring them as they melt. Mine are melting. Again, it is melting. And yours might melt faster or slower than mine, and that's okay, but um, you want it to be completely melted and smooth once you see that it's melted and smooth, then remove it from the heat uh, because we do not want it to cook um, past that point. So, and once it's melted and smooth, I will remove it from heat. Okay, mine's beginning to melt, so I'm going to keep stirring. I want it to be smooth. It's sticky now, but not smooth. Smooth. And mine's melting. And still needs to stir. 
and it's not quite smooth enough. And I can still see lumps of marshmallows, so I want to keep stirring until those are gone. Mine is almost melted. Almost melted. Okay, and mine is almost melted. And it is almost melted. And now it's smooth and I want to remove it from heat. So turn off your burner. And for me, because I have an electric stove, I wanna move it from the burner. After you've removed it from the heat, then you want to add your Rice Krispies. Now I'm gonna stir these in and it's a little stiff, so make sure you're using that wooden spoon. Just stir it in. And I want the marshmallows to coat the, the cereal. So I keep going to the bottom and almost flipping it over here to make sure I get all of the marshmallow over everything. So, and it takes a little bit to mix it together and that's okay. And once you have it mixed together, you can see the marshmallows covering all of my cereal. I then want to put it into the baking dish. So I'm gonna grab my baking dish be careful, your pot will be hot. And this is where that spatula comes in handy. If you use that spatula that you sprayed earlier, then this mixture does not stick to it. So I'm gonna use that to press this into my dish. And again, because of the, the oil on the spatula, it is not sticking. Now, I want to press it down until it's smooth. Okay. And yours should be smooth as well. And your Rice Krispie treats are complete. Now you just want them to cool. And once they cool for a few minutes, then you'll want to cut them. Uh, and I just use just a regular butter knife uh, to do that cutting. So I hope you enjoyed making your Rice Krispie treats today. And it, if you'd like, we can probably cut them now. They're probably cool enough. So, and again, I take my knife and I cut it across. And mine are, again, a little sticky, a little gooey, which is exactly what I want when I'm not creating designs. And I cut it across and go the other way. And I want to show you just how ooey and gooey these are. So I do reduce, again, like I mentioned, the number of uh, cups of Rice Krispies to make this an ooey gooey treat. So it should uh, stay a little longer, but it will stay freshest if you store these in an airtight container. So once yours are cooled and they are cut, Put them in the airtight container so that they will store a little longer. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me today to make these Rice Krispie treats. And I look forward to seeing you again next week when we make chocolate chip cookie bars. So I hope to see you soon.